Radiation from domestic appliances, what is safe and what isn't? Electric home appliances improve our lifestyle by making our lives easier. These devices entertain us, heat our food, cool our homes during the summer months, or heat the housing during the cold winter months. Domestic appliances help us to do tasks faster and easier. But these electrical appliances give off electromagnetic radiation. Your kitchen is a hotspot for toxic EMFs. Some domestic appliances like microwave ovens, Wi-Fi routers, cordless phones, laptops, and other wireless devices emit high-frequency electromagnetic radiation. As you continue to add more electronic devices in your home, you increase effects that are more negative to your health. Radiation is everywhere in your house and you need to know when these devices emit EMF radiation, how to maintain a safe distance, and how to reduce unnecessary exposure from these EMF sources. Is it safe to have these home appliances? Let's have a look at various domestic appliances and see whether it is worth the danger. And by the way, if you want to minimize the EMF radiation you're exposed to in your daily life, I highly recommend checking out the first link in the description below this video. Common Sources of EMF Radiation in Your Home Most home appliances emit electromagnetic radiation and some of these EMF sources cause a lot of concerns to your health. They include Cellular phones Cordless phones Cordless baby monitors and alarms Wi-Fi routers Bluetooth devices Microwave ovens Wireless refrigerator Etc. All these devices emit different levels of electromagnetic radiation. For example, cell phones emit high levels of radiation. If you're near a cell tower, the radiation exposure is extremely high. Continuous exposure to these high levels of radiation is linked to Damage of DNA cells Brain tumors Cancer Hypersensitivity to EMF sources High blood pressure Disruption of sleep patterns leading to insomnia Fatigue Depression Other health risks Neighborhoods are swimming with plenty of RF radiation from multiple wireless devices. This makes it difficult to completely shield yourself from dangerous effects of electromagnetic radiation. Many of these health risks are caused by continuous exposure to EMF sources from our everyday electronic appliances. Why do electric appliances emit EMF radiation? When you power on an electric device, the current runs through the device creating magnetic fields. The higher the current running through the device, the higher the frequency of magnetic field radiation. Also, the appliances have a lot of wires, circuit boards, power converters, and other electronic components. These components and wires in the EMF radiation whether turned on or off, low-frequency radiation can also pass through the walls of your home. Therefore, where you place these home appliances is very important. Avoid placing appliances that emit high-frequency radiation near where people spend most of their time. The majority of home appliances give off low-frequency radiation even when turned off or in standby mode. Unless you unplug the device from the power socket, the circuit board will continue to emit electromagnetic radiation. Building a smart home infrastructure increases the exposure of radiation in your home. The more wireless devices installed in your home, the higher the radiation exposure. The majority of smart home appliances emit RF radiation and Wi-Fi radiation. Radiation from LED LCD and Plasma TVs LED and plasma TVs do not use the principle of the magnetic field to operate but operate in a digital method. As a result, they emit radiation from all sides, although the radiation emitted is very low compared to that emitted by CRT monitors. The TVs emit radiation through the circuit board, microprocessor, and power unit. Radiation from plasma and LED TVs is usually very low. You can easily maintain a safe distance of half a meter from these sources. Plasma screens and TVs are a source of electric pollution around your home. It produces electrical noise but emits very low frequency EMF radiation. LED screen radiation can cause health effects to people who are electromagnetic hypersensitive EHS, but you can configure them to reduce the effects. In addition, the latest models sold in today's market are smart TVs that includes wireless capability. 
Smart TVs connect via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth features that increase EMF exposure in your home since you can't turn off the wireless connectivity. Read more on Bluetooth versus Wi-Fi signals to know how much radiation they expose you to. Wireless functions in your smart TV emit high levels of radio frequency RF, radiation. The screen also emits dirty electricity. If you want to reduce radiation exposure, make sure your TV doesn't have wireless connectivity. Do clothes dryers give off radiation? Just like the other home appliances, clothes dryers do give off a certain amount of EMF radiation. Mostly, magnetic field radiation is emitted from the circuitry and the control panel located at the top of the machine. The amount of radiation you're exposed to depends on how close you are to the machine. According to research done by the Long Island Power Authority, the closed dryer emits the following amounts of magnetic field radiation. Radiation exposure within 1 inch distance is between 30 mg to 70 mg milli. Gauss. Exposure within 1 foot distance is between 1.5 mg to 29 mg. Exposure within 3 foot distance is 1 mg to 1 mg. If you're within a short distance, i.e. 1 foot away, you're exposed to high levels of radiation. Due to this, it is recommended to stay away from the room when the dryer is running. Leaving your laundry room when the dryer is running is not enough, especially if your bed or couch is directly behind the wall where your dryer is. For this reason, you shouldn't place your bed or couch next to the wall where your dryer is placed. In advanced dryers, you can connect them to your smartphone and control them via the phone. Obviously, the more advanced closed dryers have Wi-Fi capability and, as a result they emit more EMF radiation. Do microwaves give off radiation? Almost every modern kitchen has a microwave that uses high radio frequency radiation to heat your food. So do microwaves give off radiation? Absolutely! Microwaves do emit RF radiation that could pose health risks to people when turned on. The radiation emitted is around the frequencies of 2.4 GHz, similar to that used in cellular networks. When you switch on the microwave, some radiation passes through the protection shield filter fitted in the oven door and spreads throughout the room. Although the amount of radiation emitted is very low, it is recommended to stay away from the kitchen when the microwave is on. Exposure to high levels of microwave radiation can lead to skin burns. And when warming food, do not look directly into the oven as it can damage the eye protein. Eyes have a relatively low amount of blood flowing in them making them vulnerable to the RF heating. Additionally, the eye lens is very sensitive when exposed to intense heat, and higher exposure to microwave radiation can cause cataracts. Further, when the microwave is connected to the electrical network, it emits low-frequency radiation. Therefore, you should consider the radiation emission when deciding where to place the appliance in your home. To stay safe from the emitted electromagnetic radiation, keep your distance when heating your food, and disconnect the microwave from the power outlet when not in use. Alternatively, you can cover the oven door with RF blocking wallpaper in order to reduce the radiation emitted. Although most of the reported microwave injuries are from heat-related burns, microwave radiation leaks from the microwave seals or openings can be very dangerous. However, FDA regulations require manufacturers to design a microwave oven in a way that prevents leakage from high levels of radiation. Do blenders give off radiation? Blenders give off high-frequency magnetic field radiation through the electric motor when processing fruits. They emit invisible electric and magnetic energy that pose a lot of health risks to us. When you plug the blender into the power socket, it produces electric fields due to the voltage generated. Once you turn it on, it emits magnetic fields as the current flows. Many of the electronic devices using electrical motors produce sinusoidal signals with frequencies of 50-60 Hz. This results in production of dirty electricity. When you power on the devices, they alter the waveform of low-frequency radiation. Hence, the radiation emitted today from the electrical appliances and the electricity cables is more aggravating. Dirty electricity emitted is associated with diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and attention deficit syndrome ADD. Do smart meters give off radiation? With almost every home around the US installing smart meters, more concerns about its radiation is on the rise. So do they give off radiation? And what dangers can you experience by having a smart meter in your home? Smart meters do emit radiation as they send energy data wirelessly to the utility provider. 
They emit short bursts of radio frequency waves when transmitting your electricity meter or gas readings remotely. As this digital device records and transmits your energy usage, it emits high levels of RF radiation. In addition, the use of cellular data networks for communication will result in emission of radiation higher than that emitted by cell phones. Electricity utility suppliers claim that the meters only generate a little amount of radiation as it transmits a few times a day. However, a test done by Daniel Hirsch, a nuclear policy lecturer at UCSC showed an intense pulse of RF radiation emitted more than 14,000 times in a day. How much RF radiation you're exposed to depends on how far you are from the smart meter antenna and how the signals are sent. Installing the smart meter in your living area will increase the strength and frequency of radiation you're exposed to. Continuous exposure to these bursts of radiation pose a lot of dangers to your health. Individuals who are electromagnetic hypersensitive experience severe headaches, nausea, dizziness, insomnia, and tinnitus. Although there is no scientific data on the long-term effects of smart meter radiation, there is a lot of evidence on the harmful effects of EMF to human cells. Exposure to constant pulses of smart meter radiation each day will have an impact on your health with time. Dangers of smart meter radiation The World Health Organization and American Cancer Society describe cell phone radiation as carcinogenic to humans. Both organizations recommend users to limit the use of cell phones as the best method to reduce radiation exposure. The radiation frequency and power of RF signals emitted is similar to that emitted by cell phones, cordless phones, or Wi-Fi routers. RF radiation emission from smart meter devices is associated with increased risk of cancer. Unlike cell phone devices that you can switch off or keep away from you to reduce radiation exposure, this is not the case with smart meters. Protecting yourself against smart meter radiation is very challenging since you don't have a choice. You must have them whether you need them or not. Energy supply companies are more concerned about profits and do not care about the health of their customers. In most cases, the consumers do not have a choice because they are forced by the suppliers to upgrade to smart meters. Some companies may allow the consumers to opt out but at a certain cost. For example, Maryland company Pepco charges consumers a one-off fee of $75 and a monthly subscription of $14 in order to opt out. It also threatens to cut off supply to those who don't pay. How to protect yourself against smart meter radiation If you have a smart meter already installed in your home, the only way to protect yourself is through the use of protective barriers. Shielding material like SIB flex shields and SIB poster frame liner can put a barrier between you and the smart meter device. SIB flex shield protects up to 95% of EMF radiation, and you can easily place it on a flat surface. It protects you against EMF radiation from various electronic accessories including your cell phone and laptop radiation. SIB poster frame liner shields your body against 99.9% .9 of EMF radiation. The shield is available in different sizes and you can easily fold or cut the liner to your desired size. The liner blocks EMF radiation from sources on the other side of your walls such as radiation from Wi-Fi routers and smart meters. Its shielding material deflects the harmful RF radiation emitted by the device, reducing your exposure levels. Alternatively, you can have the antenna installed outside your home. As a result, you increase the distance between you and the RF source. In addition, if the wall between you and the antenna is further away, you can reduce the amount of RF radiation you're exposed to from the smart meters. This is to say the amount of RF signals you're exposed to is lower than that which you're exposed to from the Wi-Fi router inside your home. 5 Helpful Tips to Reduce EMF Exposure In order to reduce your exposure to EMF, you have to test your home to know the areas with concentrated radiation. This will help you in adjusting the environment you're living in and limit exposure. You can also invest in EMF anti-clothing garments that protect you against exposure to some types of EMF radiation. EMF protection clothing and materials go a long way in safeguarding your health. Antioxidants can also help you protect against radiation by boosting your immune system. There are a lot of antioxidants you can use to protect yourself. Have a look at some of these supplements and how they protect you against EMF. Here are some of the measures you can use to reduce exposure to microwave radiation. 1. Reducing Wi-Fi radiation exposure. Hardwire all internet connection devices instead of using Wi-Fi connection. 
Turn off the Wi-Fi transmitter when not using it, especially at night. Do not use Wi-Fi hotspot on your cell phone since it emits more radiation than the recommended exposure levels. Install UV blockers on your windows to block your neighbor's Wi-Fi signals. Stay away from the Wi-Fi transmitter or any close proximity to the Wi-Fi router. Wireless AMR meters transmit a lot of radiation within the surrounding area. An aluminum sheet put on the wall can prevent penetration of the wireless signals through the wall. 2. Reducing radiation exposure from smart meters. Go for analog or any other wired meters instead of using wireless utility smart meters. Invest in an anti-blocking box made of aluminum material to block the radiation signals emitted by the wireless meter. 3. Reducing radiation exposure from cell phones. Use a speakerphone or a wired earpiece when making or receiving a call. Hold the phone away from the body and never hold it near your ears when talking or use wired headsets. Never put it in your bra. Buy cell phone protective cases and other shielding materials. Have a look at my detailed article on the best anti-radiation cell phone cases in 2020. Put the phone away from your bedside or turn it off when in the bedroom. You can also put it in airplane mode when not in use. Keep the phone on a table or a seat that is away from you. If you put it in your bag, make sure the phone's antenna is away from the body. Avoid the use of cordless phones in your home, instead use a wired landline phone inside your home. If you have a cordless phone, stay away from its base station. Want to know more on the radiation emission from corded and cordless phones? Have a look at this detailed article corded versus cordless phones, which is safer? Hardwire your car's antenna on the exterior. Shut down Bluetooth in your car if not in use. Never use your phone when in an elevator or in any other place enclosed with metal. 4. Exposure from cell towers. Do not stay near a cell tower or in their direct line of sight. At least stay 1,500 feet away and stay further away if you're electromagnetic hypersensitive. Cell towers shouldn't be built in places where people frequent most like schools, drug stores, doctor's offices, or other public buildings. 5. Reducing exposure from other domestic appliances. Avoid using wireless baby monitors, instead go for wired baby monitors. Some of the wireless baby monitors emit low bioactive frequencies, and should be kept far away from the baby. Some kitchen appliances emit extra low frequency radiation while others like blenders emit high frequency radiation. A non-wireless iPod emits radio frequency radiation at the surface. Carry it in a bag and don't tuck it in your sportswear. Don't turn your house into a smart home. If you have to buy modern appliances, make sure to use wired connections instead of wireless connections. Wireless appliances like security systems, alarm systems, and music speaker systems emit substantial amounts of RF radiation. Invest in wired keyboards, a wired mouse, printers, and games. Do not use compact fluorescent lights CFLs, in your home. Go for incandescent lights since they are safer. If you have CFLs in your home, at least stay 50 centimeters away from them. Unplug the appliances from the power socket when not in use. Limit your child's use of electronic devices like cell phones and Amazon Echo. Also, I just want to quickly mention that if you're at all concerned about EMF radiation, you should take a second and check out the first link in the description. Summary There is no doubt on the convenience of home appliances and how they have helped us stay connected. Appliances like blenders and microwaves simplify our food preparation. Other devices like TVs and video games are great for entertaining us. But all these electronic appliances emit EMF radiation. Long-term exposure can result in damage to our body and brain. Sometimes it is very difficult to avoid exposure to EMF radiation around your home. Your kitchen and sitting area are full of electronic appliances that emit high levels of EMF radiation. However, you can take some measures to minimize your exposure to radiation from these EMF sources. For example, you can minimize radiation exposure from dryers and microwaves by leaving the room when the devices are in use. You can unplug electric appliances from the power sockets when not in use or in standby mode. This not only reduces EMF emission but also protects the device from lightning strikes or power bursts. 
And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful tips and tricks and visit infrardtips.com. Thanks for watching.